we were backstage uh, talking right before the panel, it's and uh, Dan was back Case. there with uh, no, with Gavin, and um, Dan's face. He looks really worried. Now. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he should and be. Dan was talking about how good his breakfast taco was. Oh, and, tacos. And Gavin looked at him and said, "That sounds wrong." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're becoming so, one of us. It's, it's happened, but it's not even an English word, though, really. So. You're right. That is just wrong, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it, it, it's, it's, it's strange to me that you have now been here so long that we're indoctrinating you. And that you're... I'm okay with well, it. I'll take it. I can't wait until you're like, you've fully lost the British accent. <laughs> nah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> happened to Laser Team. Kind of lost a little bit. But worked very hard to lose it. When I, actually, when Gavin had to go through American accent training... Uh, for Laser Team. He loved it, too. Yeah, yeah, he loved it. Uh, he, had, he, he had to learn how to say words like yeehaw. <laughs> and pew, pew, pew. The, uh, and he was really worried about losing his British accent. You know who else was worried about it? Meg was very worried that you were going to lose your British accent. It's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> That's what British guys are known for. Accents, not big dicks. So, but... No, no, it's... It's true. Dan can vouch for him. Yeah. About my penis? Yeah. Well, we actually saw that whole Americanization process happen much more quickly with Ben. Say, everybody say hi to Ben. Ben, stand up. Say hello. Hey, Ben. John. Ben, ben was here. It was about 90 days. He was here on a, on a tourist visa, and he spent time with us in the office. The first time he came to visit, I think he was just like 11. And... Uh, <laughs> The first night I took him, he ate two things the entire time he was in the U.S. He ate chipotle and brownies, and that was it. That was 100% of his diet. That was, that was the first time. The second time was Domino's pizza and chicken nuggets. That's what he stayed at your yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. at my house. He expanded his palate. Uh, <laughs> but the first night he was in town, we went to go see Wanted, like the Angelina movie, Jolie movie uh, at the Alamo. And he orders a Coke, and they give him this, like in a cup, though. It's like, boom. <laughs> And he's got this big, like, gallon-sized soft drink. And he was 11. So he's, like, holding it. He goes, is this for one person? And I said, <laughs> Ben, you're in America. That comes with free refills. <laughs> and that was his first night, his first experience with, you know, the culinary habits in America. By the end of his trip, less than three months later, we're in Chipotle, of course. And he's looking at his plate of tacos. There's three per order. And he goes... Three tacos is not enough, but six tacos is too many. They should give you five tacos. And I said, congrats, Ben, you're now officially an American. He, he was probably talking about tacos. <laughs> Have you eaten at Chipotle since you've been here, Ben? It's closed on Saturday and <laughs> Sundays. So he attempted. They closed on the weekend? That's like, that's like so sad, like the British kid outside the Chipotle when it's closed. <laughs> it's like the world's worst Paddington Bear book ever. Man, but I think, I think that, you know, I mean, on the podcast a lot, we talk about traveling and planes and everything else, and I, I have the opinion that we travel a lot, but it pales in comparison to what a musician does. I mean, like the day before he was here, he was in Banff, Canada, like the night before, and then he just flies here, like just... No big deal. She, was there a shout out to Banff in the back? <laughs> I can't ever say Banff. Banff? Is that how you say it? Nightcrawler. It's like Nightcrawler teleporting, right? Is that where he ends up? Is it your <laughs> fucking city every time he teleports? Where but, do you live? I live in Thwack. <laughs> how, how, do you, how, do you spell, how do you spell that? Banff? B-A-M-F? B-A-M-F? F-F. B-A-M-F-F? N. N. B-A-N. Oh, okay. Banff. It's like a typo. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I thought it was B A M F. It was gonna be like, what town do you live in? The one that says "badass motherfucker" on it. <laughs> you know? The more badass another fucker. Um, I'm tired. It is 10 a.m. guys. No, it's 10:25. Okay. Um, so speaking of planes, gonna talk about plane disasters. Sorry hey. for all the no one's getting on a plane tonight or tomorrow, are they? Hey. hey. Good luck. Let's talk about escalators, we, everybody. We were. <laughs> wow. Jesus. Wow. We were talking about how backstage wow. we were talking about how strange it is that part of that Malaysia Airlines flight was found at re. How, and how did Dan say it? Reunion. <laughs> Reunion. 
<laughs> Dan's oh, just being fancy, again. apparently. So uh, that's been like, I've been trying to keep up with this as much as possible while... Uh, so they found a bit of the wing, here. right? A flapperon. A flapperon. <laughs> which that's I guess, a made-up part. <laughs> yeah, which I, I've never heard that term before. I guess it's uh, the part of the plane that's like a flap and an aileron. So they were able to link it specifically oh. to that plane, though, right? Or was it just they linked it to the kind of plane? Well, initially they linked it to the kind of plane, but that was the only plane unaccounted for in the okay. Indian Ocean. With and a flapper on. Yeah, eventually they, uh, they associated it, I think, specifically with that plane. So where, well, how far off course was it? Well, it was essentially, e they found it just east of Madagascar. Just east of Madagascar, okay. It's yeah. amazing how much of my geography from the world comes from playing video games. How risk. risky. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so somebody got two armies and a flapper on <laughs> for occupying <laughs> Madagascar that day. So did it just wash up? Is it floating? Yeah, can you imagine? Like, you're on the beach, like, sunning yourself, <laughs> and then a fucking part of a plane comes up. How does it float? What's it made of? Is it, is it metal? <laughs> how, how does it float? Does planes float on water? <laughs> does, does. <laughs> Dude, we talked about this the other day. Like, Gavin said something dumb in the Greek mythology Minecraft Let's Play we did. And at this point, I just agree with him because he's fucking right so often. It's, yeah, I mean, like... I it's so frustrating because he says it in the weirdest damn way possible, but nine out of ten times he's actually right. And it's like, all right, fine, I'm the asshole, so I'm just, I agree with you now. I'm just annoyed just at this piece of plane that's flying. Like, I swim in the ocean, I drop my sunglasses, I never see him again. How does yeah, the piece gone. of plane fly around? Well, your, your sunglasses don't fly. It's true, they don't have flap rods. If planes can float in the air, they can float in the water. <laughs> <laughs> That's how physics works. It's called logic, Gavin. <laughs> Use your brain. <laughs> what was the Greek mythology thing that he got right? What was it? Uh, we were Bottom. talking about yeah, Shakespeare. Yeah, Nick Bottom yeah. was uh, talking about uh, Midsummer Night's Dream. Oh. I think it was like the, the Greek god Nick. <laughs> <laughs> So, what was it? There's a character named Nick Bottom? Well, Ryan asked me to name one character from Midsummer Night's Dream, and I was like, Nick Bottom. And he was like, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Which doesn't sound like a Shakespeare character. No. Nope. Like, that sounds like, you know, like he's like, ah, Nick Bottom, sure, whatever. It's like, no, that's actually a character. <laughs> sounds like a kind of it's like porno. Pop. Like, okay, I guess pop. <laughs> anyway, so Gavin is actually a smart dude. Aw, oh, thanks, Jack. Dude, I, okay, I'm tired of people asking, like, so you can tell me, is Gavin really that stupid? Gavin is, might be the smartest guy I work with. He's, he is <laughs> really, You work with really a lot of dumb people, though. I mean, let's... Yeah. But, it, like, it, it, like, I love Gavin, and, like, the work he does is incredible, and it just drives me crazy that people actually think you are that dumb. <laughs> and I've seen you be silly before, but never, never, like, stupid. It was fun to be silly. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun so, to be silly. That's a new shirt. Is Emily here? So, let me tell you about the time I was at VidCon with Gavin, and he thought somebody else was his reflection. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> we were... We were... <laughs> we were going up to a door, and Gavin goes up to the door, and it was a glass door, and there was another guy on the other side, and they both reached for the door at the same time, and Gavin goes... <gasps> no, no, no! And then he, it was a glass door. We were both moving diagonally, like as a reflection would. He was wearing the same colored shirt as I was. And then when I opened the door, it was an actual person and not me. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> But anyway, anyway I, want to point out, I want to point out, the dude was Indian. So. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> and the best part about that was, not that Gavin thought, that I can understand almost in a way that the mistake happens in the moment, but for the rest of the day, I caught Gavin looking at himself in a window to make sure he was still okay. <laughs> I would like walk up to doors doing stuff that only I knew I was going to do. So I'd walk up to the door and be like... <laughs> <laughs> All right, I immediately take back everything I just said. Sorry. I, I picture you like staring at the mirror wanting to fight it like an animal. <laughs> My ears go up. Yeah. Like not understanding what it is that you're seeing. Yeah. Um, so, good on you. Thanks, man. That's, uh, that's, 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 that's really smart. <laughs> it's not. Quickly. By the way, ladies are a lot faster at selfies than guys are. I don't know why that is. You guys are like professionals. Because it's like a guy, it's like, hey, Bernie, can I get a picture? It's like, yeah, sure. You got to go through the all steps. Let me turn on my phone. All right, here we go. Oh, it's facing the wrong way. Oh, here we go. I just shut it off. Hold on a second. Here we go. <laughs> It's like, girl, it's like a girl walks up, lady walks up, it's like, Bernie can see selfie. They're like, great, bam, 
and then out. <laughs> just like, it's amazing. And she's got like 50 pictures, and she looks better in all of them than I do. So, <laughs> but yeah, so I was, I was, I'm a nightmare when it comes to that because like I like block doorways and like people are trying to get me somewhere, you know, to a room like this one. And it's like I'm just sitting in the elevator lobby taking a bunch of photos <laughs> and stuff like that. So Gus is like, opens the door to the Paramount and goes, Bernie, get in there, you. <laughs> Put that camera down or I'll knock it out of your hands. <laughs> <laughs> I did say that. I forgot about that. <laughs> and then I think I said, you all have 0% chance of getting in here. You're better off just leaving. That's so mean. God. I didn't want them Jesus. wasting their time. They were just standing there. <laughs> wasting their time what? Liking you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mission accomplished. I don't know. They could be doing something else. You know, it's always such a logistical problem. Too. I don't know how we deal with it because... Like, we've tried to work with the panel lines every possible way. Like, we, the, the rule this year is, like, no lining up until an hour before the panel. But you can't, like... Yeah, right? But it's, like, you can't well, stop people from, like, existing. So they just kind of, like... They just kind of like swarm like like sharks waiting for the fish to die or something. The uh, the like and it's like we can only push the, the like the zone of you can't line up here back so far. Eventually it's gonna be like people be lined up in Dallas waiting <laughs> or something. It's like what if what if the line never stopped moving, right? Like they weren't lined up, but there was a line that was just circling waiting, <laughs> or like or like it was a big conga line and everyone was just like dancing waiting for like the one hour point and and it was like, you just eh. choose like the middle of the loop and just pull it in and then that's, that's where the line goes I actually goes. like that idea what if we just ran all the panels all day long and we all sit up here for eight hours for different panels and then just a line just walks through <laughs> and they catch one uh, question they, <laughs> they, they see part of the do panel. you think you could do that do you think if you had like you said you had a block of people literally a square city block if you were in the front of that line say just follow me okay here's the end of the line okay you just follow them and just see if you could actually make a circle of people without them knowing you guys are awful. Without them knowing. <laughs> that's so harsh. Like they don't know what they're. <laughs> but no, I, I wonder. I wonder if that's possible. How long would it take before they figure out? Oh, we can't do it with this crowd now. So don't come back next year. <laughs> <laughs> We've already established they yeah, won't. Yeah. I think they did something sil similar at like royal funerals. Like you can't have everyone come to the the queen's funeral. So you just kind of walk through it in a big loop. Just walk by the coffin. So you can go to it. Well, I mean, you can go to it. You just can't stop. Oh, I see. It's a little different. It's like her arm reaching out, he's high fiber and just keep walking. <laughs> Thanks, like, Queen! Wow. <laughs> it's like the version of the British Marathon. They slap a number on you. <laughs> There's people handing out Gatorade. Spots would, of Gatorade. Would you high <laughs> <laughs> Would you high five the dead queen just to say you've done it? No. Yeah, I would. Well maybe, if it was a queen. Give yeah, me a dead yeah. queen right now, I'll do it right here. Where's royalty? <laughs> can can you get a photo? Can you get a selfie? <laughs> she could hold it. <laughs> She'd still probably be faster than me at taking one. <laughs> yeah. Bam, and she's out. <laughs> um, so Every out. time I've seen like ju gu or just Gus randomly, we were having a GIF gift conversation the other day, uh, and I said just. GIF. I swear to God, if it's GIF, then my name is Just. Yep. <laughs> Amen. We had some, we had some, we had some pretty good arguments on the last podcast. Why it should be called GIF? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gus, Gus, you don't give a fuck. Actually, there you go. Please. But every time I've ever watched Gus do a custom character in a game, and it's an auto thing, it, oh, I don't know how it knows this. Maybe there's some connection between Gus and the universe. Hit random, and the character immediately comes up, and it's frowning every single time. <laughs> <laughs> like the deepest possible frown. <laughs> there it is. That's it. <laughs> I, was, um, I, was, uh, I was looking at the, um, at the program the other day, the RTX program, and you know, there's that picture of Barbara and I doing like the Back to the Future pose, like looking at our, at our uh, watches with our glasses up. And... Uh, I thought there was a misprint, because I looked at the photo, and I thought, oh, there's some shit, like, in my glasses. And I, I pulled it up and looked close, and I was like, oh, no, those are just the wrinkles on my forehead. Oh. <laughs> so I'm like this, and they're like all of those ridges. And I was like, oh, God, that looks, that looks terrible. Um, my question is for all of you guys. It's a million dollars butt question. Oh. Okay. Not so. Let's hear it. Million dollars, straight up cash. You get a lot, of money. a lot of money. It's a lot of money. But Gus Sarola has to do an ad read for you every morning you wake up for the rest of your life. 
I'm not done. Remind I'm not you, done. This day is brought to you by a million dollars. And then, randomly throughout the day, he gets to pick. He has to do one more ad read. Random. He gets to pick. Like, so it's one million dollars the rest of your life. The rest of your life, Gus has to do ad reads. Not for your Gus's life. life. So it could be like a zombie Gus. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Rooster teeth. <laughs> Day brought to my brains. So can he, can he interrupt anything? Like if anything. I'm having some he lovely intercourse, pick. he can. That's exactly why I wanted to ask you. A spot of intercourse. A spot of intercourse. <laughs> <laughs> this moment of intercourse is brought to you by Netflix. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're switching positions, and guys like, let me read this first. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thirty seconds. <laughs> I would absolutely do that. Yeah, I would take it. Yeah, I, yeah, I would. I, I would so. take a million dollars only because I'd get a million dollars, and it would make Gus's life so much harder. That's true. <laughs> I just want to say, you hear that, potential sponsors? Yeah. <laughs> for podcast? You know, I'm you worth a million dollars for an ad read. Yeah. Uh, so Gus. Um, I've been, wor I've been wondering about your passion for the misfortunes of aviation, I guess. Um, and I was wondering why you got into that kind of stuff, and would you ever want to get your pilot's license one day so you can avoid as much people as possible? I, I really want to get a pilot's license, but Esther will not like, let me take flying lessons because she's convinced all single-engine planes always crash. No. Oh. Which, they, I mean, I, I guess they kind of do it a lot. But, <laughs> um, they do. Yeah, so she doesn't want me learning how to do that because she's just afraid that I would hurt myself in the process. I, I'm really, I'm really, really, I really, really want to. That's why I play flight simulators so much and um, even when I'm on the plane. But you could just jump out. Parachutes. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh. Go ahead. What were you saying? So, like, let's say I'm taking my flying lesson and yeah. um, the engine stops. Just jump out. Yeah. But, what? Isn't that what people do? When's the last time you heard about that happening? Jump out of a plane and do what? Just float down. What do you mean? Land. Just <laughs> like spread your arms? Is that not an option? I think it's typically very difficult. I can imagine just like a red light coming on you. Like I have no no idea what that is. <laughs> like, <laughs> Gavin, I vouched for you earlier in this panel. <laughs> <laughs> the red light is the everything's Sorry, okay light. We killed we killed that right away. So Jack, let me ask you a question. You're a married man. I am. Gus gets a pilot's license. Would you fly with Gus? Yes. I would fly with Gus as well. I'd be I a good pilot. Well, of all people, I, I know Gus is going to scrutinize everything so much that if it's not safe for him, he wouldn't. I mean, or he, he wouldn't get in it if it wasn't safe for him. Mm -hmm. And I know he values his life more than mine. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would but, be okay. Yeah. You're talking but, about the guy who said he would shoot himself in the face at the age of 40. He's really old. <laughs> is he 40 yet? So close. <laughs> um, but to get into um, like wh why I got into it was. Air travel is so safe that when there is an incident, it's very unusual. So I'm re always very curious to know what is it, like what are the circumstances that led to this very unusual thing happening. And so what that's it. What kind of plane would you buy if you could? What kind of plane would I buy? Like a single engine small plane, like a Cessna or something like that. Why there? I could a Gulfstream, man. <laughs> so Jack, there seems to be a new addition to the Tower of Pimps. <laughs> yeah, so Joel signed the Tower of Pimps. Woo! What, it, three years ago he yeah. tried to do it and he finally did it? Yeah, he finally did. He finally grew the balls to sign the Tower of Pimps. Uh, I think it took him three years to learn to spell his own name. Is what <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, retribution will be swift and painful. Yeah. Ooh. So uh, stay tuned for that. Did he sign it like huge? Like how big? Uh, it's he, like so the blocks are one meter cubes, like they're life size blocks, and he filled up at least one side. I don't know if he signed all four, but I know he signed up a, at least one of them. Just one? Okay. So yeah. Jack's not kidding either. He was backstage. <laughs> he was pitching ideas. Yeah. For what did you Joel? We could do this one thing and make it look like we're doing this actual thing to Joel, but we're not. We're doing something else, but it looks like we're doing the actual thing. And I said, why don't we do the actual thing <laughs> instead? <laughs> And then, so, but the thing I have in mind will make Joel not want to work at Rooster Teeth anymore. That's why I want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you. Mm, Gavin. Mm, yes. So, I want to hear 
about your transition from British to an American accent, and I was hoping we could get a preview. He won't do it. He won't do it. I promise he won't do it. Gavin, say, let's go to McDonald's and get a cheeseburger. No, I'll say, I'll say one word. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, just, just for reference, say it, say it with your British accent. Well, it's a different word, really. Ass. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, there you go. It's it's a, a that's the exact word. same word. It's an arse. That's an, there's an R in that. Ah. Cool or cool? <laughs> <laughs> Over there. Any plans to do uh, Gavin or Google today? <laughs> I think we forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Would you bring the questions? We no, just, we just did it I recently on the podcast. Yeah, I was just say you just did it recently. Gavin or Google so. is something that's a lot of fun. We did it in the panel last year. Um, but it's one of those things we just want to like beat it to death. So we just kind of do it uh, whenever it strikes our fancy. Also, it's like, you know, the world is only so stupid. So, you know, <laughs> we constantly have to top how stupid the world is. So you got to give them some time to really generate some good material. It's hard to be stupider than the world. It is difficult to be stupider than the entire world. Fair play.